you guys think the answer is um, let's go ahead and get biz a and see if we can do this we're gonna take the derivative of this equation now I like to call this equation the relating equation because um, it, uh, this concept this topic this skill in calculus is usually affectionately called related rates and so this is the relating equation here let's take the derivative with respect to t and then talk about why I'm calling it the related equation now we have two functions of t um, x is a function of t and y is a function of t you can know what the value of x and what the value of t I'm sorry the value of x and y are if you guys knew the value of t but that's not this type of problem so don't worry about it just know that those are functions so I'm gonna take the derivative of this side and since they're multiplying the two functions are we're going to use the the product rule the derivative of x is 1 and then we have to go dx dt and then we multiply it by y then plus and then we have to take the derivative of y which would be 1 and then we have to go dy dt uh, because of implicit differentiation the derivative of a constant always will be 0 obviously because the constant is not changing its rate of change would be 0 but doy okay now we can look at uh, oh, we got a lot of extra stuff in here let's get rid of that one we don't need that one right there okay now let's look at all our variables we have a variable right there we have a variable right there a variable right there and a variable right there look at all those variables there's like four of them what do we want we want to find dx dt man these problems always want dx dt it's so annoying how about finding a different one okay do we know the dx dt now we done that do we know why yes uh, I don't like uh, decimals so I'm gonna write 0.5, 0.5 is one half. Uh, x, do I know what x is? No, I don't. Oh no, I need x. dy dt is one. Okay, we need an x if we want to find dx dt. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna use this foo. <laughs> so we know that we don't know what x is. We know that the y is one half, and then four. Okay, cool. So we can find the x. This is magical. Multiply both sides by 2, we get x equals 8. Yay! I put the 8. Now let's rewrite stuff. We have 1 half dx dt plus 8 times 1, which is 8, equals 0. So we put the negative 8 on the other side. And then we um, multiply both sides by 2. So we have dx dt all by himself. Oh, everybody say, oh, everybody's like, oh. And then we go um, and multiply negative 8 by 2. We get negative 16. And we got our answer. That's it. Negative 16 is right. So if you got negative 16, you're magical. You did it right. Wow. Be proud of yourself. Go eat a chocolate chip cookie.